We had 114 people enter into our Destashify giveaway. How cool is that? That's a lot of people. So I am super excited to get to the giveaway. That's just gonna be the first part of this video. In the second part, we're gonna talk about what I've been working on and what to expect in the next video, which is releasing later this week. Let's dive right into it, shall we? I'm just happy to be here. I hope you're happy to be here. <laughs> the last video that I released, we did a deep dive into the website called Destashify. Now this site um, allows you to buy and sell things from your stash. Think fabric, patterns. If you're into crocheting and knitting, there's yarn. You can even sell machines on there, which I think is really neat and could be a really great place for people to sell their machines to, you know, someone who they know is going to enjoy it because it's other crafters that are on that site. If you would like to see that video where we talk about Destashify and everything, I will link that in the description box below. But let's go ahead and find out who won right? So I have my laptop here. I have not done the giveaway yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a screen recording on my computer so you can actually see who wins. So let me just get this pulled up here. So I am recording the screen now and we are going to click. It's like, it's kind of like the wheel of fortune. So it's a big wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and click and we're going to get our winner. I am going to like put something over the person's most of their email because I don't want scammers to be emailing them. <laughs> so we'll do that here real quick. Here we go. And the winner is, all right, there we have it. Awesome. Congratulations. And I will be emailing you later today about winning the giveaway. So that's very exciting. Congratulations. This was so much fun to do you guys. I am, I cannot express to you how much fun I had kind of like hosting this giveaway and getting to do it. This is definitely something I want to do on a regular basis because I really enjoy giving gifts. <laughs> I think it's like my love language or something, but I just think it's super fun and it gets us to, it helps us become more of a community. It's not just, you know, I'm just someone on your phone screen or computer screen that's, you know, just talking and then we disconnect and then that's it. There's no conversation. There's nothing going on between us and I, I really want this to become at least my my vision for this channel and kind of what I want it to become is really a community and not only me and you talking but I would love for the different people that watch my channel to come together also and to learn to encourage each other and to you know just help each other out and ask each other questions and things like that and I just that's that's kind of my my big picture vision is for it to become really a community and that's why I really enjoy our Facebook group that we have and that's been super fun to talk to you guys. That was the giveaway. We're done with that now but stay tuned. I will be doing more in the future and I'm thinking of giving away like different fabric and different things like that. We will see. The possibilities are endless really for that sort of thing. The next thing I wanted to touch on real quick is I asked in the community tab here on YouTube and I also asked everybody over in our Facebook group, what do you think of live streams? And I got some very interesting replies. Totally valid. I agree with most of you. So what kind of the overarching theme was, I'm not a fan of them because the person takes, you know, 10 minutes to, they, they feel like they need to say hi to every single person that's in there. Oh, hi, hi, where are you from? Hi, hi. For me personally, when I've watched lives, because I do enjoy watching lives because I, I enjoy that connection with the creator and being able to type in a question or something that they can answer. But something that I have noticed that I'm not a super fan of is like the awkward silences when they're just kind of sitting there or, um, you know, they're just kind of sitting there like reading the questions and things like that. And, you know, obviously you have to be able to read the questions, but it's just kind of, there's not a lot of thought gone into a lot of lives. I think I have watched some that there are, there is a lot of that. You can tell that they plan it out and those are really fun to go to. I also, I also, I think I said this in a couple of comments, but I like 
really despise <laughs> when someone's doing a live and then they like start eating so you can hear them like rattling a bag or uh, napkins and things and you can hear them eating and it's just I don't like that that is not that's not my jam so I will not be doing that so what what I'm thinking for doing a live is because because I do like the the way that it, it could help us build community in that aspect and and I think it would it would I'm really interested to try it because I think it'll really push me out of my comfort zone because it seems really scary to me to do that because I don't know it's just I'm not able to edit out my ums and so's and uh <laughs> you know but I think it would really really help me to get a little bit better at speaking maybe in front of you guys and then I would actually know you know there's actually someone on the other side of the camera right now which you know saying that out loud is a little nerve-wracking but I think it would be fun and so what I'm thinking for doing a live is it will definitely be planned I will announce you know a week in advance or something when it will be I'm kind of playing around with the idea of doing kind of like a Q&A like question and answers so you guys can send me in your questions ahead of time and then I can answer them and it can be questions about whatever you want to ask me questions about it can be quilting related sewing related fabric related if you're interested in making quilt patterns I can try to answer your questions on that if you have questions about EQ8 electric quilt companies quilting software we can do that if you have questions about quilting there's just uh you know i'm i'm happy to answer in the best way that i can questions so i think that would be a really good idea for a live or we could just have you guys come to the live with your questions however however that would work yeah but i would probably announce it in the facebook group and then also on the community tab here if you're interested in that you what it might be a good idea to come over and join the facebook group you don't have to post in the group if you don't want to if you don't feel comfortable doing that that's totally fine but that is kind of where i'm gonna start making more announcement type posts to you guys because i know everyone that's in that group you know really cares about what i'm doing and what i'm talking about and things like that i'm thinking that for the live stream also I thought it would be super fun I've just I've just got this idea tell me what you think of it but I had an idea to I want to kind of go through my fabric and kind of get rid of some stuff sell some on to stashify maybe I'll do a giveaway from my stash that could be fun I've got a, a lot of really nice fabric that would be fun to do a giveaway with that but I was thinking we could do kind of like a session where I show you how I would piece or put fabrics together. So how to choose fabrics and things because I know a lot of people struggle with that and I find that a super fun part of quilting. I really like the challenge of trying to put prints and colors together and it'd be really cool to do it with my own stash and maybe we could even oh, brainstorming right here. But I could take some of the bundles from the stash and those could be part of the giveaway, which would be really fun. I really like that idea. And maybe you would have to be at the live to be entered into the giveaway. Hmm. That could be fun. That could be fun. It's just an idea. Like I said, I think it would be really fun to just to do them to build that community. I would be respectful of your time. I wouldn't do like a super long live. I know that can just be kind of like, okay, keep going, keep going. When is this going to end? I have somewhere to be. I've got stuff to do. But the nice thing about lives is they are recorded then on YouTube and you can watch them later, which is nice. That is an option for you if you just do not want to watch the live or you can't make it. Stay tuned for that. I will be announcing alive at some point I need to actually learn how to do it because <laughs> I've never done it before so I got to figure out what would be the best setup because I want to be able to easily see the comment section so if anyone's asking questions or anything I can answer that right away and uh, things like that so I got to do a little research but I think it would be fun so but if you don't like lives you don't have to come and that's totally fine it's no hard feelings I totally get it I know how I, I know what you mean but I'm I'm gonna really try not to be boring 
or just kind of ignoring anyone. I don't know if if a lot of YouTubers that do live streams, especially in like the sewing quilting realm, I don't know if they're really big YouTube consumers. What I mean by that is I don't know how much YouTube that they actually watch, you know, because you would kind of think that they would be a little bit more aware of, you know, well, nobody likes to sit through 10 minutes of hello, hi, hey, hi. That's kind of, that's kind of what I wonder if those people that are just completely oblivious to that being annoying, I'm guessing they probably don't actually consume much YouTube content. I, on the other hand, like YouTube is like my entertainment. I watch and listen to YouTube a lot. <laughs> during the day when I'm working, when I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I like to listen to different YouTubers that do like really relaxing content. I just really really enjoy YouTube as a platform. I think it's really cool and and super fun. But anyways that was that was a slight tangent. So that is something that will be coming up soon. I also wanted to let you guys know that I am working on currently getting the patchwork alphabet quilt pattern done. So probably, it's probably been a couple of months ago now, we made a mini wall hanging quilt. Here it's over on my wall. The sew wall hanging quilt. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And at the end of that video, I asked you guys if you would be interested in a quilt pattern that had the full alphabet. And I got a lot of comments saying that, yes, please make a full alphabet. I have been working on that, designing the different letters and stuff. It's been a little tricky because I'm trying to only use either squares or half square triangles. So some of the letters are a little tricky trying to figure out. And I kind of want all of the letters to kind of look like they go together. So you can pick whatever letters you want and create a wall hanging or quilt with those letters. Last night I actually just finished making the letters. They look really cool. I'm super excited. So now I have to sit down and write out the instructions for each letter because I want it to be super understandable. So even if a beginner picks up the pattern, they'll be able to use it. That's something that I, I, I really like to do with my quilt patterns. That's what I am working on behind the scenes with quilt patterns. That should be coming out fairly soon. And I'm very excited about that. It's, it's, it's a labor of love, but it's been really fun. And I'm really excited to see what people create with it because I think you can, there's like so many options. And then last but certainly not least, you guys know that I started seam ripping the stitches out of my Cozy Picnic quilt. Cozy Picnic is a quilt pattern that I designed and I attempted to quilt it probably about a month ago, maybe a little bit over a month, but I attempted to quilt it and it turned out terrible. If you want to see the video for that, that will be linked in the description box below. Yeah, I just did a terrible job at quilting and I was very upset about it, <laughs> which is okay. It's okay to be upset with a mistake, but I did not let it, you know, completely defeat me and I'm, I'm not just putting the quilt away. I had several people be like, well, just donate the quilt and be done with it. And I was like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the stitches out and I'm going to try again. That's what I did. I got all of the stitches out and I used a lint roller to get all of the little tiny stitch threads out, which helped a lot, by the way. So everyone that recommended using a lint roller, thank you. I actually had this like heavy duty lint roller that's meant for like pet hair that I used. So that helped. And I think I used like 10 or 11 sheets of that. It was a lot, but we got it done. And so now the last step I have, I actually have the quilt here. Now the quilt has all the little holes from those stitches. So let's see if the, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can still kind of see the lines. See right here. So this is just like lines of little holes in the fabric from the quilting. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to run my iron over those lines and that will help make those holes go away a little bit more. And then if I need to, I'll just go over it with my nail and just kind of, I'll just tickle those marks away. That will get rid of the majority of it. And then once I quilt it and then wash it, the rest of them will go away and it will be beautiful. What I am going to be doing is I am going to be re-attempting 
the circle quilting, but I'm going to go about it a completely different way. And this way I believe will work and I will be documenting that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. That is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. I've been thinking about it for weeks and kind of planning it out in my head and I think it's going to work and it's going to look great. That's what you can expect in this next video coming out. So yeah, I just wanted to use this video to of course announce our giveaway winner and then just to touch base and let you know what I'm working on and what you can expect from me. I got a comment a few days ago from someone that was like, she said something along the lines of, I'm really disappointed to not see you sewing or it's been a long time since we've seen you sewing i just wanted to be like you and me both <laughs> uh, trying to do this whole youtube thing especially trying to you know really really jump into it basically full time is very very time consuming and really shocking how much is not done behind the sewing machine right I wish I could just sew all day and that just be it and that be my life and that would be great. But unfortunately it is not. Especially since I'm also wanting to design quilts and things. That takes a lot of brain power and working behind the computer and things like that. But I just thought, uh, I thought I'd mention that, you know, it's not, uh, <laughs> I wish I could just be sewing all day long. But a lot of these big quilting YouTubers, that's not what they're doing all day long. All day long, they're working behind the scenes. And I know for a fact, a lot of them aren't even coming up with their own tutorials. They have someone else coming up with the tutorials and then they just teach them. So that is what it's like to be a quilting YouTuber. And I'm, I'm doing this all by myself. So I don't have any help. I'm just doing it all on my own. I'm doing all my own editing and designing and all that stuff. Anyways, that was a little tangent, but if you have any questions or any comments you would like to share, please leave them in the comments below. If you have opinions about me doing live streams or suggestions, let me hear them. I am, I'm an open book. I'm happy to hear whatever you have to say. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, I'm wanting to do live streams also because YouTube suggests that you do live streams. So I think it might help me grow my channel a little bit to do the live streams. If you're a regular viewer and you don't want to watch the live stream, you totally don't have to. And it's not going to hurt my feelings at all. So, but it is something that is known to help grow a YouTube channel. And that's what I'm trying to do because I'm trying to really make this a legitimate business and to make it work. I'm going to try it, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, well, lesson learned. I just wanted to mention that real quick. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I look forward to talking to you later this week. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. Bye. <laughs>